When people drink too much and cannot drive home safely, some turn to a special taxi service called Daiko. They hand over their car keys to a professional driver. He then chauffeurs them home in their own car. Okinawa is a driving society. The roads can be dangerous. The accident rate is twice the national average. It also has a strong drinking culture. People here cherish awamori, their local rice liquor. Awamori. <laughs> People who drive after they drink can be easily stopped by the police. As little as one drink can mean an arrest, a license suspension, and a fine of five thousand dollars. The tough penalties have raised the demand for Daiko taxis. For many, it's just too risky to drive. Hayato and Yuko Kana. If you get caught driving drunk, you could end up losing your job. It only takes a second to lose your life and kill someone. For the Daiko drivers, competition is stiff. There are more than 550 Daiko companies in Okinawa. So Futoshi Gakia comes here on his off days to make friends with potential customers. Because I'm a Daiko driver and my job needs drunk people, I encourage them to drink, and I drink with them so they might use us. So that's common. Sukimoto Nakazato says he feels safe counting on his Daiko company because the drivers are licensed professionals. I only use one Daiko company, just one. Finding the right Daiko is like a dating game. <laughs> the search for the perfect driver takes time. Aguni Rikia is a construction worker. I use different Daiko companies. I'm trying to find the best one for me. Daiko drivers face their own challenges with customers. Yasunaga Uehara and his wife started their Daiko business six months ago. In some cases, they're so drunk, we just keep going around and around the same area. Everywhere in circles. Mitsue Uehara's job is to follow. When her husband finally drops off a customer, she picks him up. For Hayato and Yuko Kana, a night out is ending safely. When the keys returned, the Daiko's job is done.